Hello, um, this video is all about my personal notes on uh, labor law review from our uh, review class. So we're going to talk about the constitutional provisions pertaining to labor, uh, starting with the preamble. Uh, it states that to build a just and humane society. So when we say just, it means social justice, civil justice, political justice, criminal justice, and economic justice. When we say you mean society, it means respect for dignity, decency, equal protection, care for the underdog. He who has less in life should have more in laws. Labor law is enacted to humanize society. The prime and duty of the government is to serve and protect the people. The state shall promote a just and dynamic social order that will ensure the prosperity and independence of the nation and free the people from poverty through policies that provide, promote a rising and improved quality of life. The state shall promote social justice in all phases of national development. The state affirms labor as a primary social economic force. It shall protect the rights of workers and promote their welfare. The state of the people, including those employed in, in the public and private sectors to form unions, associations, societies for purposes not contrary to law shall not be abridged. No voluntary servitude in any form shall exist except <clears throat> as a punishment for a crime where a party shall have been duly convicted. No officers or employees of the civil service shall be removed or suspended except for a cause provided by law. The goals of the national economy are a more equitable distribution of opportunities, income, and wealth. A sustained increase in the amount of goods and services produced by the nation for the benefit of the people. And an expanding productivity as the key to rising the quality of life for all, especially the underprivileged. The use of property bears a social function and all economic agents shall contribute to the common good. The state shall promote the preferential use of Filipino labor and adopt measures to help make them competitive. The practice of all professionals shall be limited to Filipino citizens. The state shall adopt <clears throat> or protect working women by providing safe and helpful working and conditions taking into account the law. So we have to memorize Article 13, Section 3 of the Constitution which, is <clears throat> which state states that the state shall afford full protection of labor local and overseas, organized and unorganized, and promote full employment opportunities for all. It shall guarantee the rights of all workers to self-organization, collective bargaining, and negotiations, and peaceful concerted activities including the right to strike in accordance with law. They shall be entitled to security of tenure, human conditions, of work and a living wage. <clears throat> so we have to define um, illegal recruitment. Republic Act number 8042, illegal recruitment shall mean any act of canvassing, enlisting, contracting, transporting, utilizing, hiring or procuring workers and includes referring contract services promising or advertising for employment abroad, whether for profit or not, when taken by la non licensed 
<clears throat> or non-holder of authority contemplated under Article 13, Section F of Presidential Decree Number 442 as amended, otherwise known as the Labor Code of the Philippines. Illegal Recruitment, RA 10022, Section 5, are the following, or committed as follows. St substituting or deterring employment contracts approved and verified by the Department of Labor and Employment, <clears throat> or POEA. Obstructing the Labor Secretary's Inspection. Becoming an officer or director of any travel agency. Inducing worker who is already employed and offer him another job. Giving false information or misrepresentation in securing license or authority. Accepting or changing excessive fees or charging excessive fees. Withholding or de denying travel documents for financial consideration. Influencing any employer not to employ or worker who has not applied through his agency. Failing to submit reports to POEA on recruitment performance data. Allowing a non-Filipino citizen to manage or head a licensed recruitment agency. Failing to actually deploy a contractual worker without valid reason. Failing to reimburse expenses of an OFW who was not actually deployed without his fault. Arranging a compulsory and exclusive loan scheme with a specific lending firm or institution. Usurious interest exceeding 8% per annum for, for a loan granted. Suspended agency still doing recruitment. Shifting to the OFW, the burden of paying premium for insurance. Exclusive and compulsory arrangement to undergo health examinations only in specific, specified clinics and other institutions. Exclusive and compulsory arrangement to undergo training or seminar only in specific training centers or schools. Refusal to condone or renegotiate a loan incurred by an OFW who is dismissed. The principle of flex loss loss contractus may not apply to un undocumented OFW to enjoy protection in a limited degree. Estopel does not lie because the waiver was Contrary to law and public policy, our constitution guarantees protection to labor. Parties may stipulate in their contracts such terms and conditions as they may deem convenient and in accordance with law. So that's it for our um, labor law review on this video. Bye.